the 2024 U.S. presidential election will determine the fate of not only our country, but the fate of the world itself. The Democratic Party has just determined that Kamala Harris is best fit to be the leader of the free world, going up against Russia, China, and other countries quickly pushing America into the shadows as this global shift of power happens right before our eyes. This video will be talking about how the U.S. presidential election could influence the price of silver. If you love our country and you're a true American patriot like myself, then please support this video sharing what I believe to be the truth by liking the video, leaving a comment, and hopefully you're already subscribed. But if not, welcome. Let's have a discussion together in a responsible and respectful way. I know tensions are high, but the stakes are even higher. How do you think this election will affect the price of silver and do you trust Kamala Harris to take back this country, earn the respect of our enemies, and put America first? I sure as hell don't. Trump said it best. If he doesn't win this election, we may never have one again. All right, folks, we have a lot to break down in this video. Hope you stick around because we have two different articles to break down that go hand in hand. This first article was posted three days ago, how the U.S. presidential election could influence precious metals prices. This is very important stuff. I'd love to hear your two cents on this as well because there's many different ways to take this from fear, uncertainty, doubt, but also policies and politics in terms of what would actually be happening geopolitically. So there's a lot to break down in that type of conversation, but we're also going to go into Gen Z and millennial investors want gold. This was posted one day ago, July 23rd. So I do think these go hand in hand, the economy, but also a lot of new eyes, new money could be entering the market. I'm 32. So you would figure that I would at least be drawing the newer generation of stackers, but that's not really the case. 90% of my audience on my YouTube analytics is still 45 plus. Most is 55 to 65, but 90%. So most is at least 45 or older. So there's still a lot of new eyes to enter the market. And that's what this article is talking about. So with that said, let's jump straight into it. Precious metals prices are expected to be more volatile in the second half of 2024 due to geopolitical uncertainty, inflation, and the upcoming U.S. presidential election. Gold prices have reached new highs due to ongoing geopolitical uncertainty and economic data surrounding Federal Reserve interest rate policies. Palladium prices have been highly volatile, showing sudden spikes followed by reversals, increasing market uncertainty. The Global Precious Metals MMI Monthly Metals Index held its four-month-long sideways trend month over month. All in all, the index narrowly missed trading flat, only budging down 0.18%. However, numerous factors continue to pull at precious metals prices in general. Gold, for one, appeared to be finally settling down after reaching record highs earlier in the year. However, by mid-July, gold prices began climbing again, meaning gold prices have yet to peak. Now, this next paragraph is really what I want to stop and break down. This is where I really want to highlight the severity of this situation and how precious metals could play such an important role. So with wars in other parts of the globe, inflation still somewhat elevated and a presidential election on the horizon, precious metals prices could witness more price volatility in the latter half of 2024. This is often especially true right before an election takes place. In the months and particularly weeks leading up to a U.S. presidential election, precious metals prices tend to experience increased volatility, mainly due to the future policy of the U.S. being up for question. As such, investors are advised to watch market patterns carefully before investing. So let's tear this down part by part with wars in other parts of the globe. That alone is extremely concerning and something that we really have to remember is going on. There's going to be a lot of focus on Kamala or the Democratic Party or yada yada XYZ, but 
we still got to remember there's several wars going on and the one with Iran is right around the corner. So the stakes are extremely high. But then we have this inflation still somewhat elevated. We have to remember that the dollar is still doing what it does. Inevitably, we know what's going to happen. But also, given a presidential election on the horizon, precious metals could witness more price volatility. All of those things combined spells disaster for the economy, but that spells opportunity for precious metals. I don't see a scenario playing out that would be bearish for silver. It's only looking like things are going to get worse and much quicker. Like Andy Sheckman said, if you think things are going to go over smoothly, I got a bridge to sell you. Forget how he worded that. But that's exactly the truth. There's still so many unknown variables, right? Nobody could have predicted. I mean, we're not shocked that that happened to Trump, but there are just so many new variables coming out on a daily basis, and there's going to be plenty more that we could never predict. might not be shocking, but we just won't see them happening. But all of the potential possibilities are all going to be bullish for silver, right? Unfortunately, we are just living in a horrific time, very scary. So they also mention this is especially true right before an election takes place in the months, in particularly weeks. So if we just saw silver break past these multi-year, I mean, I'm talking about over a decade high, breaking past that $30 resistance that it kept banging its head against, finally reaching 32.50. Now it's down to 29, but we just were up there a month ago. Given all the upcoming circumstances, the BRICS meeting, August with all the variables that I mentioned in my last video that you should definitely go watch, but also November, all of those are going to be opportunities to, for silver to jump back up. But could stay up this time. If it breaks past 3250, what's the new what's the new price target? We already know that we've built stability at higher prices. I think the days of 25 26 dollar silver are long gone cuz things are only going to get crazier. But then there's more. They also mention that we will experience increased volatility mainly due to future policies being for question. If people genuinely think that Kamala has a chance to win, given her track record, given her goals, given her policies, we would be in a very dangerous situation. And like Trump said, if he doesn't win, we may never have an election again. And unfortunately, that wasn't an exaggeration and that wasn't a joke. He was dead serious. He was dead serious when he said that. We have Putin looking at us already extremely weak. We have all these other countries. Imagine Kamala trying to debate, trying to go up against these leaders, trying to keep us as the most powerful dominant country in the world. That's not going to happen. She will be focused on, on diversity and speaking, a whole bunch of BS nonsense that is not going to progress us at all. More of her getting sympathy votes and making her look good in the public for her own personal gain, but not actually for the American people, which is extremely dangerous as someone who wants to be able to comfortably live in my country and see a future for it. But like I posted a poll earlier today, I'm actually going to check the poll results. I said, if Kamala wins the election, will you stay in America? Or will you, or well, I forget how I worded it. I'm going to check right now and I'll show, I'll share the statistics. So I said, who's considering fleeing America if Kamala wins somehow? 14 per, out of 169 votes, 14% said me, 34% said I'm staying, 51%. So the majority said, I can't leave, but I'd want to out of 169 votes. This was just posted an hour ago. So half the top category of people is saying they want to leave or they can't leave like me. I have, you know, I have a daughter and stuff like family here, but I'd want to if she wins. And 14% would say they're actually considering leaving. Only 34% are saying they're staying. That's how bad things are. And where is, where are all of her supporters? 
they're not in person, they're not online. I haven't found one person online who's who is actually, you know, pushing her on. So where is all the, who, who, where is the 650,000, you know, new uh, grassroots vote or, 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 you know, donations coming from where? We know the 81 million was just from, was passed over from Biden. So that's not too shocking, even though they tried to, they tried to push it as it was. But where is all this support coming from? I don't know. I would figure Michelle Obama could possibly pull those types of numbers and get people behind, but Kamala? I mean, this is, I'm not trying to go political. I don't want to. The whole point of this video was speaking about how the election could affect the price of precious metals, but, you know, at the end of the day, I gotta, I, you know, I have an opinion too. I try not to share my opinion too much, but, um, you know, this is something that I know all of us agree on. I just showed the poll that I posted an hour ago on my channel and, um, you know. But anyways, what do you think about this? I need, I, I want you guys to know, and if you wanna speak more openly about this, come join the Secret Silver Society. It is a club for silver stackers where each member is enter, enters automatically in a silver raffle. So every month, at the end of the month, July 31st is our first silver raffle. Every month, you're automatically entered for a chance to win. Basic members, only $5 a month. You get one raffle ticket. Elite members, $15 a month, get two raffle tickets. So just being a part of the group, you always have a chance to win. So every month, you might be winning silver as long as you're in the group, which is kind of fun. It just makes it exciting. So, you know, being a part of the group, you always have a chance. It's like you're constantly entering silver giveaways. But also, the most important part is the membership discussion board where all of us live chat in the group. We could say whatever we want because it's on Patreon. It's just a personalized way for all of us to talk. And there's only like 25 members. So your chance of winning the raffle is only one out of 25, which is a much higher chance than my giveaways on this channel that have thousands and thousands of entries. So it's just a fun way. Plus, I'll post Patreon only videos. I mean, it's a way to support the channel, uh, you know, um, and, you know, I'd appreciate it. It's really fun. I've I've met so many people in there, a lot of new stackers, a lot of very experienced people that are talking about silver miners and all types of stuff. It's really cool. You can post pictures in there, links and stuff. So it's been really, really fun. Go check that out. Links in the description. If you wanted to purchase precious metals, hit me up, Slayer at milesfranklin.com. Miles Franklin is the best. Uh, you could also call me, 330-485-6172. Uh, I'll be happy to help you. I'll answer the phone. I try to answer on Spotify don't I'll call you back as soon as possible a lot of people are shocked that I do that but but yeah I'm trying to help everyone out um, we got some exciting stuff next week uh, Andy Sheckman's in the Bahamas not surprisingly but um, when he gets back I have another special guest as well which is the CEO of a silver mine one of the biggest silver mines in Canada I'm going to be interviewing so we will be talking to the CEO of someone who digs this stuff directly out of the ground. So we have the perspective of the CEO of a massive precious metals company and the CEO of a company that digs it out of the ground. Folks, we're coming up in the world. We are making new connections and uh, it's, it's only looking up from here. All of this is to make sure you all have the best information possible with someone who truly cares and will not try to twist this narrative for personal gains or anything. I love talking about this stuff, have been posting daily videos since 2015 for a reason. Never got burnt out, I only get more motivated. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I appreciate you all. Love you all, make sure to like this video, uh, make sure to comment down below. I hope this video gets shown in front of as many people as possible. Thanks for tuning in, this is Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow, peace.